I'm live at Ground Zero right now, and I've got to tell you right now, Vic, I've been coming back here every year for the last 10 years and haven't seen a lot of progress at Ground Zero, but this year, there are buildings, there are trees. This thing has really taken shape around here. Meantime, it's a beautiful morning here, or just afternoon in Manhattan. It's very eerily similar to that September day 10 years ago, and New Yorkers are pretty much going about their business as you would expect them to do. Very little sign that anything's different, but if you look closely, you'll see there is an increased police presence. And in fact, police officers have been roaring by full of buses going someplace. We don't know where yet this morning. We have seen them at the various entrances to the bridges and the tunnels and in the parks. There is definitely an increased police presence right now. But other than that, Manhattan seems to be going about business as usual. People are riding the subways and they're not all that worried about any potential problem. But there is a potential problem, as we've been reporting over the last 12 or 14 hours. There is apparently a credible but unsubstantiated threat of a potential terror attack. Tom and Bradley has details on that story from Washington. In Washington and New York, a surge of police on the streets as U.S. officials track a specific and credible, though unconfirmed, terror threat. There were specifics, but uh, in that sense, it was credible. But it is, uh, but it's, there's no, uh, there's uh, there, there's no certitude. We we don't have uh, we we don't have the smoking gun. Officials tell ABC News the threat involves a vehicle bomb aimed for sometime between September 10th and 12th, with either Washington D.C. or New York as the target. Officials say the plot involves three individuals, and at least one is a U.S. citizen. Al-Qaeda's new leader, Ayman al-Zawari, initiated the plot, officials say. The new leader, Zawahiri, has said he wants an attack around now to avenge bin Laden and to prove that al-Qaeda central, the one in Pakistan and Afghanistan, is still alive. A massive search of travel records is underway to figure out who is involved and how far along they are. The three individuals suspected reportedly traveled from Pakistan's tribal areas through Dubai to the U.S. in mid-August. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, as he always does, took the subway to work today, hoping to send a message that his city is safe. I just think that if I take the subway, people understand that uh, it, it sort of puts it in perspective that there's always a threat, but there is not any reason why we should uh, hunker down. U.S. officials have been bracing for a plot after discovering documents in Osama bin Laden's hideout in which he calls for a strike against the U.S. on the 9-11 anniversary. Taman Bradley, ABC News, Washington.